my name's Christy Goldhawk, and I am split between the Calgary Stampede and the University of Calgary Vet School, and my role is in both of those, kind of bridging the gap to help research happen, as well as help the Calgary Stampede with our animal care and bring that kind of expertise that exists at the vet school bridge that gap with what happens here. What the Calgary Stampede is stepping up and doing um, is allowing for research that's traditionally done uh, in the lab to step out of the lab and happen in places where stuff actually happens. So meaning that you know this is stuff that people can then take home because it's been it's applied where they work and, and so the research that does exist now is basically what we're doing here at Calgary Stampede um, and that has to deal with the infrared thermography looking at developing that method for monitoring stress in a commercial situation because we know we can monitor it non-commercial but the reality is we're concerned about commercial and let's go there so the stampede has opened doors to help that happen there's also the chuck wagon research in terms of race horses racing performance animals um, and looking at kind of fitness to compete and there how do you measure fitness to compete as well is in there Alberta has a lot of traditional knowledge here about the cattle industry and horses and performance animals in general. There's a huge tradition here around that, which, I mean, that's some of my favorite parts of my days is going and talking to these guys and hearing from them and then taking the research and developing on those ideas and that knowledge so that we can just go forward and improve our understanding, improve the animals, how they perform, improve the sports themselves. So it's really all about improvement and growth. We all think that we do things right, and then sometimes we just need that outside voice to come in or someone to say, hey, let's think about this. And science gives us this kind of objective way of doing that and numbers behind it. And if done right, which is how we're trying to do it here, it gives us direction and guidance as to where we should go. So it allows us to improve where we're doing wrong, keep going where we're doing good, and kind of just animal welfare becomes a little bit more ingrained in the everyday.